is Battlefield Bad Company 2 in 2021 with ray tracing global illumination light bounce and gorgeous lighting, improved detail and graphics that will blow your mind. Because after years of failure and trying, it is now possible to make a graphics mod for Battlefield Bad Company 2 and so I did it. Battlefield Bad Company 2, known by the Battlefield fans and adored by the veterans. As a matter of fact, I think most of the players wanted a Battlefield Bad Company 3. But what did that be like? A new battlefield with improved animation, more buildings to destroy, huge maps and more features overall just like Battlefield 2042. But apparently that is not the reason why we loved Battlefield Bad Company 2. In fact, our fondness for Battlefield Bad Company 2 is rather strange and quite unknown. And even after so many years, when I played Bad Company 2 again, it was so satisfying and just mysteriously addicting to play. And in remembrance to this beautiful, satisfying and breathtaking game, I made this graphics mod. Using Reshade RTJ 0.24 and finally being able to use depth buffer that was not possible before, I was absolutely stunned by the graphics. I could finally use RTJ to indirectly bounce the lights and add more of the most bleeding edge graphical feature global illumination in this fantastic classic battlefield game, Bad Company 2. And after making the visuals more clear with unnecessary fox disappeared and ambient occlusion, and after spending quite a lot of time on other effects to surely make this game of Frostbit 1.5 from that long ago look like Frostbit 4 and feel extremely modern and yet have the old Bad Company feeling. Also, I must let you know that I did not change the color correction much because I think adding way too much color contrast and unnecessary effect would both be exaggerating and mockery to this amazing masterpiece. I did, however, try to reduce the bloom to a greater level and I believe that Bad Company 2 without too much fog or blinding bloom looks absolutely gorgeous. And honestly, my first 10 hours in this game, playing with graphics mod, has been quite the nostalgic and fantastic journey. I can remember every bit of the maps like Valparaiso, Arica Harbor, Atacama Desert, Oxys, Wet Pass and you name it. And now that I am back uh, into this game, I really feel like this game was really good. No wonder for a game that released at that time, sold over 12 million copies. The 32 player rush and uh, slow turning trains, hard to control heli, building destruction, and strange, unique soldier animation had a, ha had a different type of feeling and was a challenge for the players. And I would say the maps were quite good, it, they were pretty, and there were maps with different purposes, and because of their design, the game was played quite differently in each maps. And not just most multiplayer version, the campaign was a whole new experience and was also well written. There were jokes in every cock scenes and during gameplay and the story was not too serious but it was fun and probably one of the craziest stories in Battlefield franchise. I think these maps were brilliant and they deserved to be in newer Battlefield. That said, in 2042 it came into a reality. Though I'm not a huge expert at Battlefield Bad Company 2, I did however play this game after Battlefield 3 and I found it so interesting, I had spent quite a lot of hours on this game and I love Battlefield games for its wide number of things to do from its early titles providing ever-changing Battlefield and so much intense war experience. I remember playing my first Battlefield, Battlefield 2, well I'm the age of a boy who play nothing but Fortnite. <laughs> But my very first FPS game was strangely Battlefield 2 and because I love military vehicles I liked it. And after playing so long I played Battlefield 3 and Battlefield Bad Company 2 and then BF4 and then Hardline and the newer ones in order. I'm not really sure how it was like to buy this game from Gamesform and come back from school and then play like the old time because <laughs> One, um, uh, because one, I got this game from online, and two, I don't like doing classes. 
And over time, I do think I'm a Battlefield veteran, and in all these years, I can say that Battlefield Bad Company 2 was really amazing. Also, if you're wondering why I'm not talking about Battlefield Bad Company 2 Vietnam, well, I was going to say that Battlefield Vietnam was one of the earliest Battlefield games, and it was pretty nice. And adding Vietnam into Battlefield Bad Company 2 was a good choice of uh, expansion. But it was just a paid expansion, it was totally worth it, and the vehicles and weapons it gave you to play with was very different, and it was kind of fun. It was ton of fun, and to be honest, I spent a lot of time on Vietnam maps as well. And that is why I wish that a Vietnam expansion in Battlefield 2021 would be awesome since they kind of feel the void of filling a lot of us Battlefield 3 players and, and, and Bad Company 2 players were filling by adding these new features. So I think that a uh, Vietnam expansion would be good. Anyway, back to graphics mod. This was made possible by a lot of effort trying to get the depth buffer and reshade work on Battlefield Bad Company 2 which is probably why a graphics mod for Battlefield Bad Company 2 multiplayer was never possible before. But it is however now possible and while we do not have players in server, I could find a few servers in Project Rome version and luckily I could get into work. Though I played flawlessly in multiplayer version, I do not recommend you to use this graphics mod on your original origin version of the game and try on Project Rome instead. But that is all for today. I hope you like it. If you did, give a thumbs up and subscribe for more new graphics mod and more of what I'm doing. Thank you all for watching. You can get this graphics mod for my Patreon as early access since I am still working on this and I have to make Battlefield Vietnam graphics mod as well. But until we meet again, goodbye.